It's Wednesday morning, and in the dining room of the Bishop's Palace at Sinog, the Bishop's chaplain, the Reverend Mervyn Newt, is having breakfast and catching up on last Sunday's newspaper. Oh, good morning, my lord. Anything in the papers? Ah, yes, there's been a revolution in South America. Another one? They had one last week. I read about it the other day. Who did they? All this one's in Santa Antonio. But that's where the last one was. Extraordinary. Have you got the St. Dog's Gazette there? Ah, uh, name lord, Ned, by your place. Ah, yes, here it is. I want to see how they've reported my speech at the choir school prize giving yesterday. They... Oh, really? How irresponsible. What, my lord? They've put a photograph of the dean on the front page. Oh, may I see it? Oh. Oh, doesn't he look distinguished? Distinguished? Not really. It's just rather a flattering photograph. Oh, look, and there's Mrs. Phil Critchley. What a smart hat she's wearing, my lord. And the wing commander. Oh. Who's that fat man at the back? Well. <laughs> well, well. Yeah, my lord, where's that? Is that Mr. Tucker the butcher? Tucker the butcher? No, that is me. Right. Really, the standard of photography in these provincial papers is appalling. Now, where's the report of my speech? Oh, dreadful thing about old Bishop Bromley, isn't it? Well, I'm not aware of things. There, I saw he deserved it. Deserved it? Well, you must admit he'll be useful up there, my lord. Possibly, but at 65, he might still have been quite useful down here. Well, it says in the papers that I'm reading they should make more life peers like him. Who's talking about him being a life peer? Well, I thought you were, my lord. No, I'm talking about him being knocked down by a bus. <laughs> well, I have no idea. I'm dreadful. There's nothing about it here. Huh? Isn't there? Well, the local paper's full of it. Oh, well, really, this is too much. They've reported the Dean's speech in full. I suppose that means mine had been stuck on the back page. Hmm. I see Lord Brack has been divorced, my lord. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Divorced? You mean married, don't you? And then Lord, no, divorced. But there's a picture of him here getting married. Lord Brackley married at Caxton Hall yesterday. Ah, yesterday. Well, that wouldn't be in my paper, would it? Wouldn't it? Oh, no, you see, this is the Sunday paper. <laughs> but it's Wednesday today. Well, I know. It always takes me three days to read the Sunday paper. Oh. <laughs> three days? This is too much. Oh, do you think so, my lord? I like to read it thoroughly, do you think? No, not that. The Gazette here. They haven't reported my speech. But they must have said something. Yes, they did. The bishop also spoke. <laughs> ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. See editorial. Ah, I didn't think the editor would ignore me. No, I shouldn't think so, my lord. Not after you gave him that nice box of cigars last Christmas. Looked. I gave him this box of cigars because I like and respect him. He is the most intelligent and worthy man who does a very difficult job. Ah, here it is. It's headed, Memorable Churchman. Oh. Oh, do read it, my lord. Well, I'm glad. Ah, yes, please, 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 my lord. Oh, well, if you insist. Here. <laughs> Few church dignitaries in recent years have made such an impact on the life of our city as the present dean. Oh, weird. Oh, it's a misprint, my lord. They must mean the present bishop. Tall and upright with the lissom figure of a youth. Oh, it's not a misprint, no. <laughs> Dr. Pugh Critchley has an assured place in the history of the cathedral. Oh, really? The editor of this paper is a complete ass. I can't think why he's taking. Get me some coffee. Uh, coffee? Well, I'm afraid it's tea this morning, my lord. Oh, it would be. Mm. An assured place in the history of the cathedral. Oh! Oh, golly. Did you see this, my lord? If you intend to read me the test score, Luke, don't bother. There's been another inning since last Sunday. <laughs> It's this advertisement here. Look, it's something I think you should buy. Where? There. Get back your appearance with an Adonis body belt. No! <laughs> if this is some sort of a joke, I consider it very poor no, taste. No, 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 I didn't mean that, that advancement, my lord. I should hope you no, did no, not. It's the advancement of Christmas, the auction rooms in Bond Street, my lord. They're selling the Bryce Parkinson collection today, and there's a book of 16th century sun. 16th century sermons? Why should I want to buy them? They'd be out of date. No, not to preach, my lord. No, it's a relic. They are Bishop Garden's son. Bishop who? Bishop Garden, my lord. He's one of ours. Is he? <laughs> well, yes, you know, my lord. He's in the nave. At least our... Most of him is. Most of him? Well, he was beheaded by Queen Mary in 1556. <laughs> oh, 
I know you mean that tomb on the left by the radiator. Yes, that's right, my lord. It had some early flamboyant mouldings around the base. I know that. I caught my shin on them the other day. <laughs> well, don't you think something should be done about it, my lord? Oh, it's all right, thank you. The swelling's practically gone down. <laughs> no, 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 my lord. I mean, why, don't you think we should go to London and buy the book? I mean, after all, my lord, they were very important sermons, and he did preach them in our cathedral, who could put it in a little glass case beside the tomb. I'm sure people would welcome it. What else? Something else to catch their shins on? In any case, have you forgotten what I have to do today? Oh, yes, my lord, of course. Your questionnaire to the clergy and church wardens. Precisely. Two hundred clergy and four hundred church wardens making in all six hundred envelopes to be addressed, stamped, and tucked in. Oh, yes. Not to mention a delegation from the St. Og's Ladies Guild who are coming for their annual day at the palace and what I'm going to do with them, I cannot imagine. Hmm. And your contribution to the diocesan newsletter, my lord. You promised them two hundred words on fellowship. There you are. And you, Newt, you, my domestic chaplain, the man above all others who knows the burden I carry, sit there calmly proposing that I should abandon my responsibilities and rush up to London to buy a second-hand book. No, Newt, no. It is impossible. Well, I'm so sorry, my lord. I, I just saw it really in a little glass case beside the tomb with a plaque. A plaque? Yes, saying that you'd presented it. What do you, you mean with my name on it? Yes, something like, you know, uh, presented by Bishop Hever. Yes, or, or perhaps uh, generously presented by Bishop Hever. Yes, it would stand there, my lord, as a sort of memorial to your time here. You mean it would assure me of a place in the history of the cathedral? Yes, my lord, exactly. Yes, but as you say, of course, it's quite impossible. My dear Newt, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Let us see. What time is it? Um, half past eight, my mm, lord. Right. We'll catch the nine o'clock train to London. But, my lord, what about, um... We shall arrive at Victoria at ten to eleven. Now, what time does the sale start? Uh, eleven o'clock, my lord. Well, what gives, about all that this? Gives ten minutes yes. to get from Victoria to Bond Street. Splendid. We should just about make it. We'll go by tube, and it'll give us an opportunity to try out the new Victoria line. Wouldn't you rather take a bus, my lord? A bus? My dear Newt, if we catch a bus, we'll never get to the auction at all. We shall spend the whole morning stuck in a traffic jam. No, no, no. We'll take the tube, get off at Green Park, walk up Bond Street, arriving just as the day will begin. Buy this interesting relic, have lunch at the Athenaeum, wander into the park and feed the pelican, and then we'll catch the four o'clock train home. Now, Newt, who said it was impossible? You did, my lord. <laughs> Did I? Yes, you said you've got all this work to do. The questionnaire, the 600 envelopes to be addressed, stamped and tucked in, and the delegation from the St. Hogg's Lady. Oh, Hill. that. Well, we'll soon find someone to do that. The important thing is to hurry. We've only got half an hour. But it may be not so easy, my lord. I mean, to find someone at short notice. Nonsense. Uh, anyone at home? What did I tell you? <laughs> Come in, Henry. Uh, morning, Bishop. The door was open, so I thought I'd pop in. Glad you did, Henry. We've got a little job for you. Uh, a job? Uh, oh, oh, in that case, I'll pop out again. Nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense, Henry. You'll do nothing of the kind. But, but Bishop, I was planning to Never go... mind what you were planning, Henry. You can do this little job for me, surely. There's nothing to it. Oh, isn't there? Uh, no, Archdeacon. It's just a matter of addressing, stamping, and tucking in 600 envelopes and entertaining a delegation from the Snogs Ladies Guild who are coming to spend the day at the palace. A little job. I say, Bishop, you're sure there's nothing else you'd like me to do? Well, if you could manage to write 200 words on fellowship for the diocesan newsletter. Come on, Newt, come on, or we'll miss the train. <laughs> Here we are. I told you we'd make it. Ah, my lord, you don't think you should have told the archdeacon where we are going? Henry? Oh, no, better keep it secret. Then it'll come as a complete surprise to them all. Now, which is back to the engine? Ah, this side here, my lord. Good. I shall sit here by the window. Well, I'm afraid you can't do that, my lord. Why not? Well, there's a briefcase on that seat, my lord. Yes, but I must have a corner seat back to the engine. I've got to work. Well, what about the one by the corridor, my lord? No, no, it's too dark. I'll sit here. Well, what about the briefcase, oh, my lord? Don't stop fussing, Newt. 
Put it on the seat by the collar. But I think the parson put it there. I meant it to signify that he'd reserve the seat, my lord. Reserve the seat? What nonsense he looks. To reserve a seat in advance, you have to apply to the station master and pay a fee of two shillings. Now, come along. We'll go to the dining car and have some coffee. Oh, you know, I must say, I'm beginning to enjoy myself. Uh, don't, don't forget to move that briefcase. Yes, well, my lord, if, if you insist. And, and, and hurry up, or we shan't get a table to ourselves. You know how I dislike sharing. In my position, people always tell. Why? Yes, well, I am hurrying, my lord. And I believe it's the next carriage, my lord. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So, yes. so, so tough, you know. They really should make these corridors wider. I shall have to write to the Ministry of Trust. It should be round the next corner, my lord. Oh, that, thank you. Uh, 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 oh, last. There we are. Uh, wait up. Morning, your lordship. Two for coffee? Ah, yes, please, wait up. Ah, I've got a nice table here. Uh, then not, not with those two ladies. I don't want to share. I'm afraid you'll have to, your lordship. All the small tables have gone. There, look, what did I say? I knew this would happen. Well, sorry, Why not sit over there, my lord? That gentleman's reading his paper. He won't disturb you. No, I'd rather not. Do you have a second sitting? No, my lord. Well, he's right behind his paper, my lord. I'm sure he won't stare at you. Oh, very well. Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Well, there you are, my lord. Back, back to the engine. Ah, yes, thank you. Mm. Look. Ah, coffee smells good. I must say, you know, it's nice to get away for a few hours. Oh, isn't it, my lord? We live in a very narrow world at the cathedral. And we see too much of the same old faces. Uh, Oh, what is it, my lord? That same old face. Which same old face? That face on the front of that fellow's newspaper. Oh, you mean the dean's face? Yes. <laughs> Can I never get away from it? Good morning, my lord. Hey, oh. <laughs> Oh, did, we, we, we didn't know it was you behind that paper. Didn't but, you? Well, well. But you see, we were just looking at your photograph on the front of it. Ah, uh, my wife tells me it is a reasonable likeness. Oh, I do agree, Dean. For the bishop thinks it flatters. Uh, indeed. Hmm. You have no doubt seen the editorial, my lord. Editorial? Mm. No, no, I don't think I have. Mm. But you did, my lord. You know you did. <laughs> Yes, of course, I remember now my chaplain uh, reminds me, Dean, I did notice something, but I'm afraid I was too busy with the affairs of the diocese to read it. <laughs> ah, coffee. Black or white, gentlemen? No, white for me. Oh, and for me, please. Black, if you please. You don't want your sugar, do you, Newt? Well, I could rather, my lord. Yes, you may have mine, my lord. I never take it. Oh, oh, thank you, Dean. Biscuits, gentlemen? Oh, oh, yes, please. I like the chocolate wholemeal one. Ah, there we are, my lord. Uh, biscuits for you, sir? Ah, yes, please. Have you any petty bar? Yes, sir. Here we are. Oh, no, well, I can't manage all this. Thanks. Never mind, Newt. I'll help you out. <laughs> biscuits for you, sir? No, thank you. Oh, watching your waistline, are you, sir? I do not care for biscuits. Oh, I shouldn't have thought you were the one who needed to worry. Hey, my lord. <laughs> thank you, waiter. <laughs> That'll be all. You don't often go to London, do you, Dean? No, I do not like London. May one ask what takes you up there today? T today? Oh, oh, uh, just uh, shopping, you know, uh, personal shopping. Uh, what a beautiful day it is. But it's raining, Dean. Indeed. Uh, tell me, my lord, what takes you to London? Me? Oh, oh well, uh, it's really rather exciting, Dean, to see we're going to London. Do to... some shopping. <laughs> just shopping. A little spree, you know, we thought we'd take the day off. Right. Come along, Newt. But I haven't started my coffee yet. Oh, there's no time for that. Wait up. Are you going already? Your yes, wait. I'm afraid I've got work to do. There you are. There you are. Keep the change. Oh, thank you, Your Lordship. Now, come along, Newt. But, my Lord, you haven't had your coffee either. Newt, do stop. Uh, goodbye, Dean. Uh, but, my Lord. Well, can't I just have my biscuit, my... No, you cannot. <laughs> come along. Goodbye, Dean. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> really, Newt, can't you take a hint? No, oh, was that a hint? Of course it was. Couldn't you see I wanted to get away from him? Oh, he... he <laughs> excuse me. But you, you seem to be getting on so well, my lord. Oh, did we? Tell me, Newt. Hmm? Did anything in the Dean's behavior strike you as at all odd? Ah, uh, well, he didn't have any sugar in his coffee, eh? Oh. <laughs> didn't he seem to you to be avoiding something? Well, now you mention it, my lord, he did. You noticed it too. Good. Can you say what it was? Yes, my lord, putting on weight. He didn't have any biscuits either. Oh. <laughs> ah, ah, here's our carriage. Oh, yes. Oh, that briefcase is still there, my oh, lord. never mind about that, Newt. Close the door. Oh, sit yes, down. My lord. Yes, yes. Ah, now, Newt. Yes, my lord. Listen to me. Yes, my lord. 
The dean was avoiding telling me where he was going, and I think I know why. Oh, ah. Who are, my lord? Oh, dean, uh, what, what do you want? To lend you my copy of the Gazette. I was about to offer it to you when you rushed off. I know you will welcome a chance to read the editorial. Oh, but Dean, Dean, I can't deprive you of the paper. What will you read? I have the Sunday paper. The Sunday paper? Yes, it was something I noticed advertised in it this morning. That is the cause of my journey. Well, well, uh, I must go and find my seat. Hmm, looped. Did anything strike you in that little interchange? It certainly did, my lord. It takes the dean three days to read the Sunday papers as well. Can't you see that this is proof incontrovertible that he's after Bishop Gadden's book of sermons? Don't you really think so, my lord? I'm certain. Oh, good. Well, you can get together and buy it between you. What? And have his great long name all over my plaque? No, Newt, we must stop him. Stop him? But how? I don't know, but I must just sit here and think. But you can't do that, my lord. Why not? Well, you've got to read that editorial. This? Oh, I can tell you what I'm going to do with this. Ah, <laughs> enjoying the editorial, my lord. Yes, Dean. Yes, just getting to grips with it. Oh, Lord. Why have you come back? It is odd, my lord, but I cannot find my seat. Oh, well, why not go and sit somewhere else? Uh, not here, of course. Oh, uh, Newton, I are working. We disturb you. No, I must find it. I need my briefcase. A briefcase? Uh, Did you say a briefcase? Yes, why have you seen it? Oh, no, 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 briefcase. Yeah, Dean, no. I didn't suppose there was. I left it on my seat to reserve it. Oh, well, Dean, you, you can't, you can't reserve a seat for the briefcase. What do you mean? No, well, you, you have to see the station master duty in advance and pay a fee of two shillings. Are you feeling all right, Nookie? Oh, yes, thank you very much, Dean, for time. <laughs> you look very flushed, suddenly. No, I'm all right, Dean, yes, I haven't got a briefcase. I mean, I, I haven't got a temperature. Well, good, well... I shall just sit here until the guard comes round. Oh, don't do that, Dean. No, I shouldn't do that, really, Dean. Ah, oh, ah, oh dear. Mm, I seem to have sat on a... on a briefcase. My briefcase. This is my briefcase. Oh, but no, it, it can't be, Dean. But it is. It has my initials on it. Oh, too. well, well, Dean. So you found your seat after all. This is not the seat on which I put my briefcase. Oh, isn't it? No, I put it on the seat where you are sitting, my lord. Oh, how extraordinary. Someone must have moved it. I wonder who could have done that. I wonder. And who do I, and who do I? Hmm, well, I'm afraid I must ask you to move, my lord. Me? Move? Whatever for? Because I wish to work. So do I. That is why I particularly reserved that seat. No, oh, really, all this fuss about a seat. It's too absurd. I can assure you I don't mind where I sit. Newt? Oh, yes, Newt? Mm -hmm. Get out of it. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Look, look. Yes, yes, my lord, yes. What's that he's looking at? Ah, uh, a map, my lord. A map? What all? I don't know. Would you like me to find out? Yes, go on. The bishop was wondering what you're looking at. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, 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 I was wondering if you needed any help, Dean. Help? Well, uh, are you familiar with London, Newt? Oh, yes, Dean. I have an aunt who lives in Eccleston Square. Ah, oh, well then, perhaps you can tell me the quickest way to get from Victoria Station to Bond Street. Bond Street? Oh, yes, well, the quickest way, of course, is to go on the... By bus. You want to go by bus, Dean? But my lord, you said that... No, 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 But isn't it, uh, quicker by tube? Quicker by hmm. tube? Good gracious, Dean, what an idea. No, no, no. When we arrive at 10 to 11, go straight outside the station, wait in the queue for a number 25 bus... And it'll take you all the way to Bond Street. Yes, but what about the traffic jams? I have to be there by 11 o'clock. Is this bus really quick? My dear Dean, I think I can safely say you will be surprised at the time it'll take you. <laughs> ah, here's the catalogue, my lord. Good. Which lot is it? Lot number nine. Excellent. The dean can't possibly get here by now. I wish they'd start, though. You know, it's 11 o'clock by my watch. Oh, isn't it exciting, my lord? Are all those books going to be sailed this morning? Well, I imagine so. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. The auctioneer's starting. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are selling the Bright Parkinson collection. So I shall first read the conditions of sale set out in the front of the catalogue. 
the highest bidder. Well, wouldn't the archdeacon enjoy this, my lord? Henry, oh, no, he wouldn't Lord's enjoy this. He's, he's having far more fun at home, no, quietly getting on with it. Again. Dear me, mm. uh, this decanter is empty already. Uh, looks as though I shall have to start addressing these envelopes. <laughs> Who can that be? Oh, uh, uh, ladies. Uh, good morning, Archdeacon. We are from the St. Ogg's Ladies Guild. Oh, well, I, I'm afraid the bishop is out. Oh, really? Yes, I'm just holding the fort. I see. Well, reinforcements have arrived. Come on, girls. Oh, what, am I, what am I going to uh, uh, just do with you all? Really? Haven't you got anything useful we can do? Useful? Well, yes, let me see. Uh, are you any good at addressing envelopes? Oh, yes. Uh, then if you would just come into the study, I think we can come to a working arrangement. One thousand yen, fifty guineas. One thousand yen, fifty guineas. The bids on the right of the room here. One thousand yen, fifty guineas. One thousand and sixty guineas. One thousand yen, sixty guineas. One thousand yen, sixty guineas for the last time. Sell the Lord Christ. Not eight. Where are next, my lord? Where are next? Good, good. Let me see the dean. I don't look, my lord. Why not? Well, if I move, they'll think I'm bidding, my lord. The auctioneer knows quite well who's bidding. You can walk around, move around, wave your arms. You can do anything you like. Three hundred guineas. That is it, sir. Are you bidding, sir? But uh, the stout clerical gentleman of the there. What? Were you bidding? Me? No, no, certainly not. Uh, 300 guineas on that of the room. Sold for 300 guineas. Not now. Oh, this is it, my lord. Are you ready? Yes, Newt, yes. This will show the dean. Not now. Oh, oh. It has been withdrawn from the set. <laughs> withdrawn? What do you mean? It can't have been. That's silence, impossible. Please, silence, gentlemen. Thank oh. you. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, not ten. We come to not the train standing at platform 27 is the St. Ogg's Express. Passengers for Ringmold and Tapney change at Hawley Junction. Tea will be served on this train. An outrage, an absolute outrage. To drag us all the way to London, then withdraw the wretched book from the sale. I don't know who this Brian Parkins thinks he is. Our Bryce Parsons, my lord, Bryce Parsons, and he's a millionaire. Oh, is he? We'll have a good mind to write and ask him to pay him a fare. But, my lord, I... And yours, of course, too. But perhaps he couldn't help it, my lord. What do you mean? Well, he may simply have found that he was so fond of the book that when it actually came to it, he just couldn't bear to part with it. Uh, more likely someone offered him a good price and he thought he'd save the auction fee. Oh, I'm sure that such a famous collector would never do a mean thing like that, my Ah, friend. well, I should just like to know where that book is at the moment. Ah. Here you are, my lord. Oh, oh, Dean. Oh, uh, Dean. Mm, I trust you had a good day. Oh, no, we had the most... Moderate, uh, Dean, moderate. What about you? Me? Oh, a most successful day, my lord. You did? Mm. But you weren't even at the... Um, um, club for lunch. We expect to see you at the afternoon, Dean. I had lunch in a restaurant, my lord. Oh, whereabouts? In Bond Street. Oh, you got there then, did you, Dean? Well, of course I got there, though I must tell you, my lord, the bus is not the quickest way. Oh, really? No, it seems the new Victoria line is much quicker. Really? I must remember that in future. Indeed, the bus this morning took nearly three quarters of an hour. I was late for my appointment. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Dean. It must have been very inconvenient. No, it was all right as it happened. I was able to make a telephone call. Well, well, uh, I'm going to tea. I trust no one will disturb this if I leave it to reserve my seat. What? Uh, what's that? It is a parcel, my lord. Oh, no, I'm sure they won't, Dean. I'm absolutely certain they won't. Good. Are you having tea, Newt? Oh, well, Dean, that sounds splendid idea. Splendid, huh? but unfortunately we have already had tea. We have? Where, my lord? At the hotel, Newt. Surely you haven't forgotten. If I can, I have. I'm afraid I have, my oh, lord. Oh, really? Your memory, Newt? Oh, his memory is appalling, Dean. Mm. However, don't let us hold you back. 
Go and enjoy your tea. No, oh, very well. I, uh, I shan't be long, my lord. And there's no need to hurry. <laughs> What about that? Well, I'm so sorry, but I, I really can't remember which hotel was. No, it. not that loose. I mean the dean getting the book. The dean, the book, I'm saying, the hotel. I don't know what you're talking about, Lord. He was laughing at us, don't you see? I'm also sorry, but I don't seem to be seeing anything at oh, the moment. Oh, loose, really. The dean realized we were after the book, too. He pretended to believe all that stuff about the bus being quicker than the tube. And as soon as we were out of sight, he rushed to a telephone, rang the sale room, and bought the book right under our noses. Oh, great. Oh, no, Lord, I'm sure you're wrong. Why? Well, if he'd bought it, he'd have had it with him. He has. Well, there, in that parcel. There? Oh, no, surely not, my Lord. No. Well, if you don't believe me, open it. What? Open the Dean's parcel, oh, my Lord. What are you saying? Well, if you won't, I will. Oh, but you can't, my Lord. You mustn't. No, must. you must, my Lord. <laughs> well, just you try stopping but, this. But other people's poverty, my Lord. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's goods, his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is his. What the hell? Nor thy neighbor's wife, nor his son, nor his maid, oh, my lord. Shut up, but no. it's the tenth commandment, my lord, of all the things of thy neighbors. Thou shalt not cover, I my lord. I am quite familiar with the tenth commandment, <laughs> Luke. Well, it certainly doesn't cover the contents of this parcel. Why, what's in it, my lord? An Adonis body belt. <laughs> and there is nothing in the tenth commandment about coveting thy neighbor's corsets. <laughs> think that Ian suspected, my lord? Oh, 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 no. You packed them much too well. Well, I do hope you're right, my lord. I would not like to think that he thought that we knew. Oh, don't worry. He'll never guess. Though it's going to be very difficult to stop oneself from trying to spot when he's got them on. <laughs> Hello, Bishop. Henry, dear old friend, have you come specially to meet us? Well, not uh, entirely, Bishop. Uh, uh, here's your parcel, Mr. Archdeacon, if you just sign for it. Oh, splendid. You're sure it's mine? Oh, yes, yes. It says, Venerable Mr. Blunt, Christabys, Bond Street. That's it? Oh, no. Well, where do I sign? Oh, ju uh, just here in my book. Oh, Henry. Henry, what have you got there? Uh, oh, only Bishop Gordon's sermons. What? You bought them, Archdeacon. Oh, no, no, no. I've been given them, actually. Who buys? Uh, the owner. Mr. Bryce Parkinson. That's the chap I was going to London to buy them. But you stopped me, and so I rang him up. But what made him give them to you, Henry? I offered to put them in the cathedral in a glass case with his name on it. Oh, Archdeacon, how clever of you. Oh, no, 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 not really. Some people are so vain, they'll do anything to see their name on a plaque. Won't they, Bishop? Oh, well, yes, Henry, I suppose they will. And, and, and Henry, talking of vanity, did you know the Dean had bought an Adonis body belt? <laughs> Have a corner seat back to the engine. I've got to work. Well, what about the one by the corridor, my lord? No, no, it's too dark. I'll sit here. Well, what about the briefcase, oh, my lord? Don't stop fussing, Newt. Put it on the seat by the corridor. But I think the person put it there. I meant it to signify that he'd reserve the seat, my lord. Reserve the seat? What nonsense, Newt. To reserve a seat in advance, you have to apply to the station master and pay a fee of two shillings. Now, come along. We'll go to the dining car and have some coffee. Oh, do you know, I must say, I'm beginning to enjoy myself. And, uh, don't, don't forget to move that briefcase. Yes, well, my lord, if, if you insist. And, and, and hurry up, or we shan't get a table to ourselves. And you know how I dislike sharing. In my position, people always tell. Twice. Yes, well, I am hurrying, my lord. <laughs> and I believe it's the next carriage, my lord. Oh, that's what happened. Oh, 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 they really should make these corridors wider. I shall have to write to the Ministry of Trust. It should be round the next corner, my lord. Oh, thank you, my lord. Excuse me. Ah, there. Oh, at last. Here we are. Stop. Uh, wait up. Morning, your lordship. Two for coffee? Ah, yes, please, wait up. Ah, I've got a nice table here. Uh, then not, not with those two ladies. I don't want to share. I'm afraid you'll have to, your lordship. All the small tables have gone. There, look, what did I say? I knew this would happen. Well, sorry, Why not sit over there, my lord? That gentleman's reading his paper. He won't disturb you. Mm, no, I'd rather not. Do you have a second sitting? No, my lord. 
Well, he's right behind this paper, my lord. I'm sure he won't stare at you. Oh, sure. very well. Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Well, there you are, my lord. Back, back to the engine. Ah, yes, thank you. Look. Ah, coffee smells good. I must say, you know, it's nice to get away for a few hours. No, oh, isn't it, my lord? We live in a very narrow world at the cathedral. And we see too much of the same old faces. Uh, oh. What is it, my lord? That same old face. Which same old face? That face on the front of that fellow's newspaper. Oh, you mean the dean's face? Yes. <laughs> Can I never get away from it? Good morning, my lord. Hey, oh. <laughs> Oh, Dean, we, we, we didn't know it was you behind that paper. Didn't but... you? Well, well. But you see, we were just looking at your photograph on the front of it. Ah, uh, my wife tells me it is... It's Wednesday morning, and in the dining room of the Bishop's Palace at Synog, the Bishop's Chaplain, the Reverend Mervyn Newt, is having breakfast and catching up on last Sunday's newspaper. Oh, good morning, my lord. Anything in the papers? Ah, yes, there's been a revolution in South America. Another one. They had one last week. I read about it the other day. Who did they? All this one's in Santa Antonio. But that's where the last one was. Extraordinary. Have you got the St. Ogg's Gazette there? Ah, uh, name, lord, name, by your case. Ah, yes, here it is. I want to see how they've reported my speech at the choir school prize-giving yesterday. Hey. Oh, really? How irresponsible. What, my lord? They've put a photograph of the dean on the front page. Oh, may I see it? Oh. Oh, doesn't he look distinguished? Distinguished? Not really. It's just rather a flattering photograph. Oh, look, and there's Mrs. Pugh Critchley. What a smart hat she's wearing, my lord. And the wing commander. Oh. Who's that fat man at the back? Well. <laughs> well, well. Where, yeah, my lord? Where is that? Is that Mr. Tucker the butcher? Tucker the butcher? No, that is me. Oh, right. <laughs> well, the standard of photography in these provincial papers is appalling. Now, where's the report of my speech? Oh, dreadful thing about old Bishop Bromley, isn't it? Well, I'm not aware of things. I'm sure he deserved it. Deserved it? Well, you must admit he'll be useful up there, my lord. Possibly, but at 65, he might still have been quite useful down here. Well, it says in the papers that I'm reading they should make more life peers like him. Who's talking about him being a life peer? Oh, I thought you were, my lord. No, I'm talking about him being knocked down by a bus. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have no idea. I'm dreadful. There's nothing about it here. Isn't huh? there? Well, the local paper's full of it. Oh, well, really, this is too much. They've reported the dean's speech in full. I suppose that means mine had been stuck on the back page. Hmm. I see Lord Brack has been divorced, my lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Divorced? You mean married, don't you? And then Lord, no, divorced. But there's a picture of him here getting married. Lord Brack will go by tube and it'll give us an opportunity to try out the new Victoria line. Wouldn't you rather take a bus, my lord? A bus? My dear Luke, if we catch a bus, we'll never get to the auction at all. We shall spend the whole morning stuck in a traffic jam. No, no, no. We'll take the tube, get off at Green Park, walk up Bond Street, arriving just as the day will begin. Buy this interesting relic, have lunch at the Athenaeum, wander into the park and feed the pelican, and then we'll catch the four o'clock train home. Now, Newt, who said it was impossible? You did, my lord. <laughs> Did I? Yes, you said you've got all this work to do. The questionnaire, the 600 envelopes to be addressed, stamped and tucked in, and the delegation from the St. Hogg's Lady. Oh, Hill. that. Well, we'll soon find someone to do that. The important thing is to hurry. We've only got half an hour. But it may be not so easy, my lord. I mean, to find someone at short notice. Nonsense. Uh, anyone at home? What did I tell you? <laughs> Come in, Henry. Uh, morning, Bishop. The door was open, so I thought I'd pop in. Glad you did, Henry. We've got a little job for you. Uh, a job? Uh, oh, oh, in that case, I'll pop out again. Nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense, Henry. You'll do nothing of the kind. But, but Bishop, I was planning to Never go... Never mind what you were planning, Henry. You can do this little job for me, surely. There's nothing to it. Oh, isn't there? Uh, no, Archdeacon. It's just a matter of addressing, stamping, and tucking in 600 envelopes and entertaining a delegation from the Snogs Ladies Guild who are coming to spend the day at the palace. A little job. I say, Bishop, you're sure there's nothing else you'd like me to do? Well, if you could manage to write 200 words on fellowship for the diocesan newsletter. Come on, Luke, come on, or we'll miss the train. <laughs> Come on, Luke. 
Come in, my lord. Come in. Here we are. I told you we'd make it. Ah. My lord, you don't think you should have told the archdeacon where we are going? Hmm? Henry? Oh, no. Better keep it secret. Then it'll come as a complete surprise to them all. Now, which is back to the engine? Ah, this side here, my lord. Good. I shall sit here by the window. Well, I'm afraid you can't do that, my lord. Why not? Well, there's a briefcase on that seat, my lord. Yes, but I... Garden, my lord. He's one of ours. Is he? <laughs> well, yes, you may, my lord. He's in the nave. At least, uh, most of him is. Most of him? Well, he was beheaded by Queen Mary in 1556. <laughs> oh, I know you mean that tomb on the left by the radiator. Yes, that's right, my lord. It had some early flamboyant mouldings around the base. I know that. I caught my shin on them the other day. <laughs> well, don't you think something should be done about it, my lord? No, it's all right. Thank you. The swelling's practically gone down. <laughs> no, 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 my lord. I mean, what, don't you think we should go to London and buy the book? I mean, after all, my lord, they were very important sermons, and he did preach them in our cathedral. You could put it in a little glass case beside the tomb. I'm sure people would welcome it. What else? Something else to catch their shins on? In any case, have you forgotten what I have to do today? Oh, yes, my lord, of course. Your questionnaire to the clergy and church wardens. Precisely. 200 clergy and 400 church wardens making in all 600 envelopes to be addressed, stamped, and tucked in. Oh, yes. Not to mention a delegation from the St. Ogg's Ladies Guild who are coming for their annual day at the palace and what I'm going to do with them, I cannot imagine. Hmm. And your contribution to the diocesan newsletter, my lord. You promised them 200 words on fellowship. There you are. And you, Newt, you, my domestic chaplain, the man above all others who knows the burden I carry, sit there calmly proposing that I should abandon my responsibilities and rush up to London to buy a second-hand book. No, Newt, no. It is impossible. But well, I'm so sorry, my lord. I, I just saw it really in a little glass case beside the tomb with a plaque. A plaque? Yes, saying that you'd presented it. What? You, you mean with my name on it? Yes, something like, you know, uh, presented by Bishop Hever. Yes, or, or perhaps uh, generously presented by Bishop Hever. Yes, it would stand there, my lord, as a sort of memorial to your time here. You mean it would assure me of a place in the history of the cathedral? Yes, my lord, exactly. Yes, but as you say, of course, it's quite impossible. My dear Newt, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Let us see. What time is it? Um, half past eight, my mm, lord. Right. We'll catch the nine o'clock train to London. But, my lord, what about, um... We shall arrive at Victoria at ten to eleven. Now, what time does the sale start? Uh, eleven o'clock, my lord. Well, what gives, about all that? That ten minutes yes. to get from Victoria to Bond Street. <laughs> Splendid. We should just about make it. We married at Caxton Hall yesterday. Ah, yesterday. Well, that wouldn't be in my paper, would it? Wouldn't it? Oh, no, you see, this is the Sunday paper. <laughs> Wednesday today. Well, I know. It always takes me three days to read the Sunday paper. Oh. <laughs> three days? This is too much. Oh, do you think so, my lord? I like to read it thoroughly, do you see? No, not that. The Gazette here. They haven't reported my speech. But they must have said something. Yes, they did. The bishop also spoke. <laughs> ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. See editorial. Ah, I didn't think the editor would ignore me. No, I shouldn't think so, my lord. Not after you gave him that nice box of cigars last Christmas. Note. I gave him this box of cigars because I like and respect him. He is the most intelligent and worthy man who does a very difficult job. Ah, here it is. It's headed, Memorable Churchman. Oh. Oh, do read it, my lord. What? Well, I'm glad. Uh, yes, please, 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 my lord. Oh, well, if you insist. Here. <laughs> Few church dignitaries in recent years have made such an impact on the life of our city as the present dean. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a misprint, my lord. They must mean the present bishop. Tall and upright with the lissom figure of a youth. Oh, it's not a misprint, no. <laughs> Dr. Pugh Critchley has an assured place in the history of the cathedral. Oh, really? The editor of this paper is a complete ass. I can't think why we take it. Get me some coffee. Uh, coffee? Well, I'm afraid it's tea this morning, my lord. Oh, it would be. By an assured place in the history of the cathedral. Oh. oh, golly. Did you see this, my lord? If you intend to read me the test score, Luke, don't bother. There's been another inning since last Sunday. <laughs> no, 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 it's this advertisement here. Look, it's something I think you should buy. Where? There. Get back your appearance with an Adonis body belt. No. <laughs> Sort of a joke, I consider it very poor. No, 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 I didn't mean that, that advancement, my lord. I should hope no, you did. No, it's not. the advancement of Christopher, the auction rooms in Bond Street, my lord. They're selling the Bryce Parkinson collection today, and there's a book of 16th century sermons. 16th century sermons? Why should I want to buy them? They'd be out of date. No, not to preach, my lord. No, it's a relic. 
They are Bishop Gordon's sons. Bishop who? Bishop 